I think we as a committee thought that uniting families was a no-brainer. It would be internally in the UK, and it is when people find themselves divided across the world. Um, there's a cost in human terms, but there's also a financial cost because obviously people who have uh, relatives overseas who could work, who could contribute, make a big difference. And we had a really good example of that by a young woman who had three children, been here a number of years, had settled status, and found herself dependent on some benefits. When her husband came, he got a job immediately. They were independent of the state and it didn't cost any money. And we can source that in paragraphs 165 and in the footnote 275 for those who want to take a look at the report. We obviously believe that there should be very clear, coherent rules. There should be clarity about what is possible and we should be honest as a nation uh, about the way in which making people remain separated actually provides not a reduction in public spending, but an increase in the way that Rebecca found out. So uh, the introduction back in 2015 of the health surcharge is hardly known about at all. In fact, it was hard to, to, to gather whether the Home Secretary had fully understood that people were not dependent uh, on the health service in the normal way, uh, that uh, when people came, they were obviously clearly vetted in terms of uh, the, the relationship and how that had panned out. And when you've got a breadwinner coming into the country and helping the family to pull together, then you've got a unit which all of us would be very happy and satisfied with. So it's a, it's a challenge for us. Get it right, get the rules right, get some clarity and make sure that everyone understands the situation rather than being misled. My family was separated for three years. My son was separated from his father and me from my husband. The argument that this encourages integration is something I will never understand. My experience and the experience of many is that it promotes the opposite, separation. It separates families, damages relationships and childhood, and it's not integration. In terms of the protection of the public purse, it forced me into single parenthood, into a situation where I had to draw on child tax credits, working tax credits, and that included the single parent element. When my husband finally came, he was able to work and became a taxpayer himself, and also became a manager in, within less than a year. Um, my experience that, um, oh sorry, I've lost where I am. How can that save the public purse? If anything, it costs it. I also know of people who have, been, who have been elder carers who have been forced to the UK, which even forces elderly grandparents to rely on social care. The fa financial impact is, in my experience, in experience, likely to be wholly negative of the public purse, economically and socially. Looking at the po positive sides, I want to tell a positive story in all this. My family had a happy ending. Alex is in a better place, that's my son. Now he's reunited with his dad, he's far better, able to regulate himself, and his academic progress has come on leaps and bounds. <clears throat> if my family had been separated for many more years, this would not have been possible. Now we can progress and move forward. His future is brighter and so is mine.